Welcome to this 20 minutes movement practice for beginners and also intermediate level because there's quite few challenging poses. When you're ready, come joining me on the mat. We start sitting down on the floor with soles of the feet on the mat, hips width apart and hands behind your back to support you with fingers facing your body. Roll your shoulders open, open your chest and lift your chest up and take a big inhale and then one exhale and then keep lifting your chest and rib cage while you breathe into your chest for one last breath and then slowly start swinging your knees right and left coordinating your inhales and exhales swinging your knees to the right and twisting your spine a few more and then when you're ready you just stop to one side you bring your knees both to the left side and you stop and look the opposite side so you look right knees to the left and with the exhale maybe relax and let your knees touch the ground a little bit more with the next inhale, bring your knees up again and bring them to the other side, looking left. Spine twist, work with the exhales to relax your knees and let them touch the ground a little bit more. One last deep breath. And then inhale to release the pose and come on a crossed legs position. Straight spine and start moving your head in big circles, leading with your chin. So your chin pull comes to the right and pulls yourself up, stretching the throat, goes to the other shoulder and goes down to touch the chest. Three big circles in one direction and then move to the other direction, just very slow as it feels comfortable for you and keep breathing deeply into your nose. Last one while you inhale and exhale. And then change the position of your legs, bringing the other shin in front. Interlace your fingers and extend your arms on top over your head. And Place your palms to face the ceiling, the sky. Here we're taking three big breaths through your spine. Big inhale through your chest. Big exhale release. Inhale lengthening and exhale releasing. Last one. At your last exhale, release your hands down to your knees, your legs. Moving to cat and cow inhaling moving forward extending your spine exhaling rounding your back when you inhale you open your chest and look up and when you exhale you move draw your belly in your belly button pushes towards the spine one more with a deep inhale through the nose and a deep exhale maybe through the mouth Next inhale, bring yourself back to center and exhale, find your way to a tabletop position, all four. Where we're going to repeat the cat and cow movement. A little bit harder this time, find your balance, strength on your shoulders and again move with your breath, inhaling, sinking the chest, bringing it forward, exhaling, rounding your back, feeling it in the hips. Big inhale, looking towards the sky and exhaling, bringing the chin to just touch the chest. And last one, maybe make it bigger, maybe segmenting your vertebra one by one, extending and then flexing. Use your next breath to release the pose and come sit back on your heels with your toes tucked. This is very uncomfortable, I know. Place your hands on your legs, close your eyes and take 
three big breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale to, through the mouth at your own pace. This might be very uncomfortable for most of us. That's why we keep breathing in this position, letting the body get used to it. And then release the pose and extend your feet. Point your toes and sit back down on your feet. This time bringing your arms and hands behind you, opening up your chest. Maybe your head relaxes back. And again, three big breaths in here in the rib cage. Big inhales and deep exhales at your own pace and length. And then release with the next inhale and exhale. Come again to a four, uh, all four position. Right hand arm extends forward and exhale. Bring your shoulder to touch the ground, stretching into your armpit. Keep stretching and releasing the tension using your exhales. Then inhale to come back to all four, tabletop. Exhale, extend your left arm and bring your left shoulder to touch the ground as much as possible. Remember, this is just your intention, which brings a deep stretch into your left armpit. With an inhale, release your pose, push yourself up with the opposite hand and only if this is okay for you, walk both hands forward this time, extend your elbows and let both shoulders sink down. If this is too intense for you, you can repeat with one arm at a time. Breathe deeply, maybe walk your hands forward, enhancing this chest opening position. Intense and Keep breathing, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose as much as possible. And then slowly push yourself up, walking your hands back. Inhale on a tabletop, strengthen your shoulders, push away the mat. And exhale, bring your hips towards the sky in your very first upper dog where you pedal your legs or you bend both knees a lot, feeling the touch, the contact of your belly with the front of your thighs. If your back is straight and your shoulders are engaged, then you can try to pedal or even straighten both legs. Breathe in here, inhale and exhale through the nose. Walk your feet forward towards the center of the mat. And then exhale, bend forward, grab both elbows, bending forward. And with every exhale, try to push your hips a little bit higher towards the sky. Top of the head reaches for the ground. Inhale, lift your head, straighten your spine, look a little bit forward, hands on the floor and walk back to downward dog. Take a big inhale in here and maybe pivot your heels, pivot your feet, bringing your heels to one side and then the other, feeling the stretch in one side and the other. Exhaling, bringing the knees on the ground, strong on your triceps like a snake, Slide yourself down, reaching the ground. Hands next to your chest, elbows squeeze towards each other and inhaling, lift yourself up a little like a baby cobra. Exhaling, relax your forehead on the ground. Squeeze your shoulder blades between them and lift and exhale, release. Squeeze your back muscles to come up, rolling your shoulders open. And exhale, release. And last one, when you lift up, squeeze your core so much to bring your hips to reach for the sky again. Downward dog. One big breath in here in downward dog. And on your last exhale, walk your feet forward towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look a bit forward. Exhale, Bring your head to reach for the ground, forward bend. 
On your next exhale, bend your knees a lot, as much as you can. Round your back as much as you can. And slowly, so slowly, unroll your spine from the bottom of the spine to the center, the, the middle, the upper back, the shoulders, then the neck, and finally the head. And we meet up here in standing pose, mountain pose. Inhale, squeeze your back muscles, bring your arms up to the sky, look at your hands, exhaling, bending forward, rounding your spine, nose goes to touch the knees, and inhale, lengthen your spine, look a bit forward, hands to the mat, exhale, left leg steps back, far away, right arm comes up, look to the sky, twist, twist down, exhaling to the left. Inhaling, twist to the right side, look at your hand at the sky, exhale, bring your elbow to touch the ground, maybe. Last one, inhale, open your chest to the right, exhale, twist down to the left. Inhale, right leg reaches back, plank pose. Left leg comes forward, left arm reaches for the sky, twist to the left, exhale, Bring your twist to the right. Inhale, open your chest up, look at the sky. Exhale, maybe the left elbow touches down to the ground. Enjoy the last inhale and the last exhale. Next inhale, left leg comes back and downward facing dog. Find your own Stretching for your legs, push away the mat, strong on your shoulders, maybe move your neck to relax. And then on the next inhale, you step both legs forward outside of your hands. The and then exhaling, bring your hips low all the way down. Maybe you have to lift the heels but maybe you're able to work it till you touch the heels down and you are in deep squat pose. Elbows push against the inner, inner part of the knees and option to work on your side, reaching for the sky with your arms right and left. This is more advanced movement. Keep breathing in this position. Exhale, place your hands on the ground and step back to downward dog. Take a big inhale in here and exhale in here, strong on your shoulders and back. When you exhale, bring your knees down to the ground and come for a half plank. Exhale, strong on your core, bend your elbows and inhale, upper facing dog, squeezing your scapulas and opening your chest forward. Exhale, squeeze your core, lift your hips towards the sky, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in here and then inhale, right leg comes up and the heel pulls towards the sky, then open the right hip and maybe bend your leg and the knee pulls you towards the back of the room and the ceiling and feeling the stretch in the front of your whole side until your armpit. Exhale to bring the leg down slowly. Come sitting on your feet, curl your toes and we take three breaths in this position. Big inhale through your ribs and big exhale, let it go. And then hands on the ground, bring your hips high again, upper dog. Next inhale, lift your left, left leg and then open the hip, maybe bend the knee and keep being pulled by the knee towards the back and the back of the room. Inhale, release slowly the leg down and come on your knees. This time, point your toes, come sit on your heels. And we take three breaths in here again. Through the chest, the ribs, and exhaling, let it go. Bring yourself to upper dog again, and then step forward with the right foot, 
Come to a low lunge position. Squeeze your left glutes. Bring your arms up to the sky and maybe a little gentle back bend when you exhale. One more exhale. And then inhale to come forward. And maybe interlace your fingers, pointing your fingers to the back. Exhale, rotate to the right and bring your right hand to touch the back of your left leg. Inhale, look forward again and bring your left arm to reach for the sky, maybe a back bend. This is deeper, intense. Inhale to bring you back down, hands, left hand to the mat and right hand circles and goes to reach for the left foot, bend your knee, stretch your chest. Exhale, relax your hips. Deep pose this one. Keep breathing and relaxing into the pose. Then circle back your arm, both hands to the ground, strong, ready to raise up on your warrior one. The left foot is on your toes, so this is more of a high lunge. Strong on your right leg in here. Press the ground away with your right foot. And arms reach for the sky, exhale, arms come down to the mat, downward facing dog. We repeat the same sequence to the left side. So exhale, left foot steps forward, inhale, arms reach for the sky, squeeze your right glutes, and then work on your back bend, inhaling, being lifted, maybe interlacing your fingers, pointing your fingers to the back of the room and the sky, and working with the exhale to your back bend. And then inhale, come into center. Exhale, rotate to the left. Bring your left hand to touch the back of the right leg. Square your shoulders forward again. And then the right arm comes high to the sky. Maybe another back bend. Inhale to come back and right hand touches the ground. The left arm reaches back to find the right foot. Bend your knee. Keep pulling the foot towards your butt and feel the stretch in this left shoulder. Both hands back to the ground and ready to rise up on a high lunge. Strong on your left foot. Push down with the left foot and breathe in this strength position. Keep breathing the arms reach for the sky, look in front of you and then exhaling, releasing hands to the ground, downward facing dog. The last one of this practice, walk your feet forward and in between your arms, curl yourself into a little ball and come to seat your butt on the ground. We're going to rock the chair on your spine for three times more, inhaling, come back, exhaling, come to seat again without touching your feet to the ground. And then last one, we meet up on chair pose. And maybe these become boat pose, extending your legs and releasing the hands, but maybe you just keep grabbing the back of your legs, squeeze your core and breathe. And again, roll yourself back, and maybe relax with your hips reaching for the sky and grabbing your feet. On your next inhale, roll up again. Don't touch the feet to the ground. And again, maybe both pose. Breathe in here. And then we go again to roll on our back and bring the hips up to the sky. Head legs over the head, maybe this time extend your knees, but you don't have to. Your knees can also be bent and near your ears. Fi find a stretch in the lower back. Next, inhale to roll up again. Strong on your core. Both pose. Inhale and exhale. Straight spine, open your chest. Relax your neck. Breathe. And then release, feet on the ground, hands on the ground, and find your way to come down, lying down on the mat. 
And then we find our way to the final resting pose. The soles of the feet come together and the knees fall apart to the sides in a diamond shape. Bring your arms wide to your sides in a cactus shape. So your elbows are bent, allowing your chest to spread open. Your neck is relaxed. Your chin is not too low to the close to the chest, nor too high. And then relax, let the breath go, and enjoy these couple of minutes of full relaxation. Invite relaxation throughout your whole body. Maybe relax your legs even more. Relax your hips. Feel your sacrum flat on the ground. Relax your belly and see if you can find some more relaxation into the muscles of your chest. Enjoy the stillness, stillness of the body and of the mind. Deserved rest after so much effort and movement today. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to take a big inhale through the nose. And when you exhale, invite some movement through your fingers, maybe your toes. And then move your arms over your head, straighten your arms and straighten your, el your legs and give yourself a huge stretch, feeling the stretch in your abs. Then come to one side, roll to one side and push yourself up to seated first and find your way to standing and you're ready to go with your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.